Now we're going to talk about color grading and correcting. Um, it's, it sounds like a lot, but um, this is what's going to elevate your cinematography. And it's something that I wish most filmmakers um, would do more often. At least when I film, I like to shoot flat. Uh, we talked about this earlier, but what that allows for is a lot of flexibility in post. Now, when I shot this particular clip, which we're going to be using, I just, um, again, grabbed it from up here um, and I dragged it onto our timeline. If we hit Command-9, it's probably still rendering, um, which it's not. We're lucky here. Um, but yeah, um, it's a 10 second clip. Um, well, now it is because if I hit B, actually, let's go here. Let's cut out a couple of seconds at the beginning here. So now it is about a nine second clip and this is what we're going to be utilizing. So it's just, it's just a little, um, slow motion shot. This shot at 120 frames a second at twice the frame rate. And basically I want this particular point in the action to look good. Um, one cool tip is to, uh, hit the M and what that's going to do is put a little dot here. And if you double click on that dot, you can, you know, set a marker like, um, you know, for this, I will be, um, this, I'll just write this spot. Cause this is where, um, I really want the image to pop and to look good. Um, so let's add a little fade to this as well. Uh, just to give you a little bit of bonus stuff. So a little cross dissolve at the end, let's shorten that. So now the shot will just fade away. Let's extend that a little bit like this. And let's start with one as well. So it comes in nice and then you know we want the image to look good from anywhere from the six second mark which is represented at the front to about the eight second mark uh, this is something that you would utilize for a wedding film um, this is in fact what that's for um, so how do we color correct and how do we grade this how do we know if this shots exposed right um, you know how can we tell these things um, on his forehead, I mean, uh, you know, this is like a live event type thing. I don't have that much time to manage the lighting as I go. But what you can do is kind of look at the forehead area here. Um, the Everything that would be kind of in the background um, would be more of your highlights. So, um, you know, the sky, um, everything kind of higher up in the frame here. Um, the skin tone is going to be more or less your midtones and the shadows is in the shadows is going to be your shadow area so you know on the coat you know um, the, the blacks and the trees here um, and those are the main three things you want to keep aware of the midtones highlights and shadows um, this camera's got decent dynamic range this is this has been shot with the gh5s uh, which has got um which which retain which retains a lot of details within those uh, three areas so how do we do this? Um, one thing we can do is another shortcut, um, Command-7. And what that's going to do is open up our scopes. Now, if you do go to um, the uh, different windows and workspaces, you know, if you do go to our view section, um, you can show the video scopes here. Um, and if you look to the right, actually, you can see this command, which is this little symbol, um, Command-7, and that's how we opened up our scopes. For now, let's close this section right here and this right one we actually need. So we can open and close it, but for the color grading, um, we're more or less just going to be color correcting, making sure everything's fine. Um, color correcting and grading kind of goes hand in hand, um, at least for my type of work. Um, I just want this to look uh, bright and vibrant. So let's get right into it. So we go to this little um, tab right here. Uh, it's the effects browser. So um, that's command five. If you want to use that too, let's do it. Command five. And we have our color correction. So if you grab that and you throw it onto the clip, on the top right here, we've got our color correction one. So you can hit this on and off. Since we haven't done anything, it's not going to be apparent. Um, but yeah, we're starting to really get into uh, the image here. Let's actually um, drag this a little bit so we can see our screen. Um, what we're going to do is talk about the left side here. Now, so this is what's known as your waveform monitor, uh, which was represented from zero, which you can see right here, 
um, zero IRE all the way to um, 120. Um, it's typically goes to 100. So you want to play around with the zero to 100 and you want to be familiar with the 50 mark. And I'll talk about that right now. If you go on to the color correction one, you click this little tab again, this little arrow, very simple. Click the arrow and you've got um, this whole collage of colors here. What we're going to be doing is messing around with the midtones and we're going to be messing around with the um, and we're going to be messing around with the shadows. So the midtones again are your skin tones. So let's grab that and let's throw it a little bit towards the orange here. And let's right click on the left side and open up the vector scopes. Um, let's talk about that in just one second. But right here, as a rough estimate, um, you can probably see that vector scope moving around funky. But you throw the midtones to about this um, orange mark. Um, and then the shadows a little bit in the blue. This is how I do it. This is what I find gives a really good image. And as you can see right now, it doesn't look great yet, but we will get into that. Um, now, as for our exposure, let's fix that first. So you go to a waveform and this camera, I actually want more saturation. So as we bump that up, the colors will be a little more prominent. For this camera, it's really important to get to know them. I think a 25 looks great. Um, and especially for a wedding setting, uh, you know, I want more of a saturated look. I want this to be colorful and vibrant. Um, when we shot this original clip, there's already some color in there. So let's pull back a little bit. Let's go to 15. Under the exposure, um, this is where we've got our shadows. So if you look at the, um, so if you actually move this tab around, you can see that we're messing around with the shadows. And on our waveform monitor, uh, we want to hit um, just above zero here. If we go too far down, um, that means that we're losing information. So we want this to be at about zero and our highlights are clipping here. Um, clipping is because we are over the 100 mark. That means we're losing information. So as you can see, especially if you look at the forehead, um, we're not gonna be able to recover that because I mean, there's just so much sunlight. Um, it's really hard for the camera to you know, be able to expose the face properly, the background, and the shadows at the same time. That's where better cameras come into play. Uh, it's not necessarily the resolution. It's what's called as, it, it's also what's known as dynamic range. So when people are shooting at low ISOs and they've got, you know, RE minis and RE Alexa cameras, they have a very good dynamic range. Um, you know, what's known as, you know, anywhere from 14 to whatever, 20 stops. Um, that just means that you're able to really retain a lot of detail in the highlights, midtones, and shadows. So let's click on our highlights and let's bring that to 100. And then the midtones, that is going to be our um, our actual face on our subject here. So let's bring that down. As you can see right here, this is this is where we want to end off. I know it's hard to see. You have to practice. All in all, we want this to fit within our waveform monitor. Anything that is above is clipping. Anything too far low is underexposed. And our highlights, I typically like to bring that to 80 or 90. Um, in this case, we'll bring it up to 100. And then we could bring this up a little bit. Um, what we can do is set this up here. We don't want it to be over 50. It's hard to see it represented, but this is kind of our area here. Um, you know, you can actually kind of see the face within the uh, waveform monitor. So this is where we want it to be. Um, if we go back to color and we go to our vector scope, what we want to do is get this clip so that it's on the line, just a little bit to the left. So if we can get it close to the dot in a little bit, so we want it about here. Um, this is where we want to be for our um, color grading. So this clip, what it looked like before already, just by looking at the scope, it looked like this, which is kind of flat, you know, um, you can see that we're really making everything pop a little bit. Um, he's a little bit orange. Um, so what we can do is add just a little bit more to the shadows here. And we can bring that closer to the line, but already this is looking much better. Uh, let's add a little more saturation just to really make this pop. And then once you move around the vector scope in the, in the waveform, uh, they kind of play hand in hand and they change a bit. So, you have to work back and forth, making sure everything's fitting properly. 
Again, we can add a little more contrast to our image. Let's go to exposure and just bring that down a little bit. Now we've got a very um, dramatic type of look going on right here. Um, things are popping. Um, the skin tone looks good. And in comparison to before, you know, this is a much flatter image. And then if I click the color correction one, you really see this pop and it begins to come to life. And this is what you want to do. Um, you can do this with all of your other clips as well. So what I can do is, you know, take um, a shot here of the bride. And because we've got trees, there's a lot going on here. Um, but what we can do is, you know, just do a basic little cut. And what we'll do is just throw the color correction on. Close this tab. And the same thing applies. Uh, you want your highlights and shadows to make sure you're not clipping. And then you can expose their faces within your midtones here. And that's kind of one of kind of the look I'm going for right here. Again, bring up your saturation. Go to your vector scope, throw your midtones to the left here, and then your shadows to the right. Just a little bit of blue. And you know, make sure this hits on the line. You want it to be, you know, um, you know, about here. And the reason I'm using this clip is because this is really hard to, um, you know, we have all this green that's going on. So you could, you kind of want to mess around with the global a little bit too. Um, you know, the main thing for this particular shot is you want the dress to look white. Um, you know, the, this is this is basically the fundamentals of everything, and in in and it can get very tricky. Um, a lot of the professionals are just incredible at this, and um, yeah, these shots can be very tricky to get right but once you get it you just end up with such a flawless image let's go back to our waveform um, you know let's let's just brighten this up just a little bit here and you can see the, the bride here this is an incredible dress she had on that day so as you can see if you go to the original shot it's so flat and you could see so much green in her face but we're able to fix that and add a little more life there uh, practice, 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 and you'll be on your way to creating stunning shots.